So this is why I can't and won't vote for Donald Trump in the upcoming election. So there's several reasons why I can't, as a Christian, according to my conscience, vote for Donald Trump. I believe it would literally be a sin for me to go out in November and, and cast a vote for Donald Trump. You know, the Bible says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the uh, seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law does he meditate day and night. You know, I just, I don't want to sit in the counsel of the ungodly. And I also don't want to bless the covetous who the Lord abhors. So the Bible says, The wicked boasteth of his heart's desire, and blesseth the covetous whom the Lord abhorreth. First of all, Donald Trump, by my estimation, is a very proud and covetous man. And the Bible says it's the wicked who boasts of his heart's desire. And then after that, and also blesses the covetous who, who the Lord abhors. Well, I don't want to bless the covetous, uh, for example, by going out and voting for them for uh, to be elected president of the United States. Uh, covetousness is a very serious sin in the Bible. It can get somebody kicked out of the local church. And the love of money is the root of all evil. Um, I can't in good conscience vote for Donald Trump for that reason, literally. That's that's my verse that I cling to in, in just in this sense of why I don't vote for him. There's other reasons why. But the Bible says not to bless the covetous who the Lord abhors. Well, that means I'm not going to go cast my vote for him. I'm not going to basically uh, put my mark of approval on him by voting for him. The Bible says if it's not of faith, it's sin. I can't in a good conscience go out and vote for, for Donald Trump. First of all, Donald Trump, uh, out of his own mouth, claims to be the most pro-sodomite president of all time. Donald Trump himself says that, he says, I'm the most pro-homosexual president of all time. Well, I'm glad for you, Donald Trump, and that you think that's such a, um, a marvelous feat to have accomplished, but for that reason, I'm not voting for you now. Um, also, I don't think you're hard enough on abortion at all. So for the reasons that Donald Trump is double-minded on abortion and he's not taking a hard enough stand uh, against uh, the abortion holocaust, and, um, you know, more, uh, even more so, when he came out and said, and just came out and admitted that I am the most pro-sodomite president of all time, that just solidifies in my mind, yeah, I'm definitely not voting for Donald Trump. I definitely can't vote for him. You say, well, you're not voting for a pastor, man, you're voting for a president. Okay, well, uh, I don't want my pastor to be covetous, proud, um, and, you know, a, a boaster and a lover of money. And I also don't want my president, my president, the leader of my nation to be covetous, uh, proud. The, the Bible says when they were picking leaders, when Moses was picking leaders, you know the advice that he got? Hey, pick men that hate covetousness. Uh, yeah, I don't think Donald Trump exactly hates covetousness. So what are some other reasons? I know I had more. I just can't vote for Donald Trump in a good conscience. I'd be violating my conscience because according to the Bible, if, some, if I'm doing something and it's violating my conscience and I think that I might be doing wrong towards God, then I can't, I can't do that thing for that reason. It would be sin. Well, I can't go and cast a vote for Donald Trump because in my mind, it would be sin. You say, well, where's that written in the law? Well, it's written basically on my heart. I would be sinning against my conscience, which, which is a sin, but you know, it's also a sin to bless the covetous who the Lord abhors. And do you really want to sit in, you know, I also don't want to vote for Donald Trump because he's so like rabidly pro Israel. I'm totally against that. I want him to be anti-Israel. I want him to be, to leave Israel alone, to put America first, like he actually says out of his mouth, and to not be um, some puppet of Israel like every other president has been in the past. I want him to be different and to take a stand. Hey, look, if between now and November, Donald Trump comes out and says, you know what, I hate the sodomites. They're destroying our nation and they're, they're making their way into our libraries and, and they're snatching up our children and, and defiling uh, the minds of our children. The homosexuals and the LGBT are the enemy of America. I would vote for him. If he came out hardcore against the, the abortion holocaust, hey, I might be able even to just overlook the, uh, the Israel thing, you know, 
which even, you know, even the Zionism thing with Donald Trump, that's a problem too, because the Bible says, shouldest thou help the ungodly and love them that hate the Lord? Therefore is wrath upon thee from before the Lord. Hey, don't give me a problem uh, and tell me that I should be voting for Trump and that I'm not fulfilling my Christian duty. I want to know if you actually can go out and vote for that man who is what, a covetous, proud whoremonger? I mean, by basically his own admission and an adult and an adulterer uh who's somebody who on one hand says he's against the new world order and globalism but then on the other hand is just ushering in all these antichrist policies and making uh, making it possible for israel to receive the the antichrist and basically expediting uh that possibility with with funds and support i can't vote for him can you vote for him in good conscience Hey, I think, are, are you projecting when you get all, you know, get all Trumpy and angry boy at me for, for not voting for Trump and for not, you know, refusing to support Trump? You know, when you say you hate Biden and then, but when you say that you're not voting for Trump, people don't understand. Well, it's because it's two wings to the same bird and Donald Trump is covetous and proud. The Bible specifically says that God hates both of those things and uh, people that are like that. Therefore, if Jesus Christ wouldn't vote for him, I'm not going to vote for him. I mean, that's you can say it's it's uh, pretentious and, and like holier than thou, but that's just the way it is. I can't I can't bless the covetous who the Lord abhors. The Lord hates a proud look, and um, I'd rather I'd rather do works in my community than go out and pretend that I'm changing anything by casting a useless ballot. Your vote doesn't matter. I say don't vote. Don't vote 2020. All right, guys. God bless you. Have a great night.